to another tutorial um, for this series we'll be talking about nextcloud uh, nextcloud is a fork of own cloud and is a file sharing server or platform that permits you to store your own content and share documents and pictures in a centralized location such as um, onedrive and um, other products out there uh, the good thing about Nextcloud is it's open source and you can install it on your own instance and customize it to the way um, that fits your environment. So for this video, we're just going to dive straight in to install uh, Nextcloud. Uh, there's two ways you can do so. You can do so the native way or you can use something um, in Linux or a software in Linux called Snap. Snap is the easiest way and it literally can get you up and going in five minutes. So stay tuned and uh, let's all go ahead and install Nextcloud using Snap. For this tutorial, we are using Ubuntu uh, 22.04 and what you need to install Nextcloud is a virtual machine or a regular computer which is running Ubuntu or some sort of Linux. Um, you need an internet connection to be able to download uh, the snap and the snap packages we're going to use today. So before we start, you're going to have to create a regular user or non-root user for your Ubuntu system and give this user privileges to be able to use sudo. In this case, I am using the root account, but it is best practice for you to create a separate account for this. So the first thing we want to do is install snap. So to do that, you're just going to run the command sudo apt get install snap. And as you can see, my system is going to go ahead and install snap if it's not already installed. And if it is installed and needs an update, it's going to make sure it performs an update. So the next command we're going to run is to um, download snap, uh, download nextcloud onto snap so we're going to run the command sudo snap install nextcloud and so once you run that command uh, this might take anywhere between 30 seconds to one minute based on your internet uh, speed so we're just going to give it some time and have snap pull the nextcloud image downloading nextcloud the next command we want to run here is going to install nextcloud and create an administrative user so you're going to type the command sudo nextcloud sudo space nextcloud uh, period manual dash install and uh, then admin or the username of the administrative user you want to create that can be anything of your choice but in this case i'm going to use admin followed by the password of the admin user in this case we're going to use test one two three four and once you run that command, this too might take anywhere between 30 seconds and one minute based on your uh, Ubuntu virtual machine speed because this is going to install Nextcloud and configure an administrative user for you to use. Once that's done installing, the next thing we're going to do is check for the trusted domains that Nextcloud ha um, has configured so far. So normally, after the installation of Nextcloud, Nextcloud is going to configure localhost as a trusted domain. So if we run the command sudo nextcloud.occ config system get trusted domains, we get localhost. So now the only way we can successfully access our Nextcloud instance is by using the localhost on the browser. So if I type the IP address, of our Nextcloud instance, you can see that we cannot access Nextcloud because the domain 172.16.25.152 is not a trusted domain. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to come back. And now we're going to have to run this next command to be able to set our trusted domain. So now we can see that we're using the command sudo nextcloud.occ config system set trusted domain one is the value to add and then we're going to use the value and set our domain. Um, we can do git together.com but since we haven't configured our DNS settings yet we're just going to use our IP address. So we're going to type 172.16.25.152. 
And once that's complete, there's nothing else you need to do. You can just go into your um, browser and refresh the page, and now we're able to access our next cloud. Once that's complete, if we notice, you can see that next cloud is being run now as HTTP. So in order to make this more secure, um, we want to create a certificate. So in this case, we can either use a self-signed certificate and or we can use an SSL certificate, which is valid and not self-signed. So for this video tutorial, we're just going to use a self-signed certificate. In future videos, I'm going to show you all how to use something such as Let's Encrypt to be able to get free valid certificates. So today, we're just going to run the command sudo nextcloud.enable https self sign to be able to install self sign certificates and once you run that snap is going to create a self sign certificate so that we can be able to use https in order to access our next cloud so once that is done if you are running a firewall in your system you want to um, be able to allow port 443 so users can access access your instance using HTTPS. In this case, I am not running any firewall, but I'm going to go ahead and install UFW, which is the Linux um, untangled firewall that is free to use. So we're going to do sudo apt get install UFW. And once that's done installing, we're going to create our first firewall rule to be able to allow HTTPS inbound. So before we create our HTTPS inbound firewall rule, we want to make sure we create a firewall rule for SSH since we are currently connected through SSH and we don't want to be locked out. So once that's done, we're going to create another firewall rule to allow HTTPS. Once that's complete, now we want to enable the firewall. So we're going to do sudo enable um, sudo ufw enable and yes and once that's complete we are good to go the only thing you need to do now is head over to your browser access your next cloud instance obviously we want to change that to https now we can see we have our self-signed certificate so we're just going to accept and now we're going to enter our username and password we created. So once we do that, we can see we were able to successfully install Nextcloud and we also were able to successfully log into our Nextcloud instance. Thank you for watching this video and learning how to install Nextcloud using the Snap package. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave it down in the comment section below. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.